Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing my Blu-ray and DVD update for November 2015. So beginning with the Blu-rays, first up we actually have a package that has just arrived from Amazon. I was just about to film this video and this arrived, so I thought I'd show it anyway. And uh, that is something that I grabbed on one of the Amazon Black Friday Lightning deals. So uh, I'll just quickly um, unpackage this. This is the Better Call Saul Season 1 Blu-ray, uh, which I got for only $21.99, which is a pretty good deal. I won't be uh, undoing the cellophane on this since this is a Christmas present, but uh, I really did enjoy the series, so obviously it was a no-brainer to grab it on Blu-ray. And uh, if you haven't checked this out already, you definitely should. If you are a fan of Breaking Bad, this is definitely a worthy prequel uh, to what Breaking Bad is and definitely has the Breaking Bad standard. So uh, that's the first season of Better Call Saul. I shall be showing this in my December... Uh, Christmas haul video and maybe doing a review of this as well. So that is Better Call Saul on Blu-ray. Uh, next up we have the complete third season of Arrow, uh, which many people did warn me that there was a decline in quality in comparison to Series 1 and Series 2, and I do agree in some areas, but this series was really adrenaline fueled and definitely went uh, in a completely different direction to what I was expecting, so I was really uh, impressed with how this turned out. The ending was very interesting, so I'm really intrigued to check out Series 4 uh, at some point, but the third series I will be doing a separate review on, so I won't really go into too much depth uh, into this, but definitely check out Arrow if you haven't already. It's a superb TV series. Each episode is fantastic and overall uh, I really did quite enjoy Series 3 so that is the complete third season of Arrow. Uh, next up is the 30th anniversary Back to the Future trilogy box set on Blu-ray which I grabbed on Back to the Future Day and uh, it was great marathon in all three films together which I really want to do that again uh, at some point since these films are my second favourite films of all time and uh, on honestly I love the characters, I love the films and uh, on Blu-ray they look great it's a really superb little addition I would definitely recommend grabbing the 30th anniversary version since it comes with some nice special features on a bonus disc so that is the complete um Back to the Future trilogy on Blu-ray. And finally we have 22 Jump Street, which was a film that I wasn't really too fussed about, but it actually was quite a surprising sequel uh, to 21 Jump Street, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So I'm honestly not sure which one I prefer more. I'm probably going to say 22 Jump Street, to be honest. Uh, the comedy in this was great. I thought the um, character that Ice Cube portrays was hilarious in many different scenes. And uh, if you're a fan of the uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum kind of films, then definitely watch this. It's such a great film. So uh, that is 22 Jump Street. So moving on to the DVDs. Okay, so moving on to the DVDs. First up we have Taxi Driver starring Robert De Niro, an absolutely amazing film that I really do regret not purchasing on Blu-ray. Uh, I thought the soundtrack in this was fantastic. I thought the character of Travis Bickle that uh, Robert De Niro portrays was amazing. I really did enjoy the evolution of the character throughout this film. And uh, of course it does have the very iconic sequence where he's talking to himself in the mirror and uh, points the gun at himself shouting, are you talking to me? I'm the only one here, so you must be talking to me. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this film is absolutely amazing definitely worth watching and if you have not seen it then you definitely should I mean it's such a superb film and uh, stars a very young Robert De Niro which is such a great actor I really do admire him um, so I shall uh, be grabbing this on blu-ray at some point for sure so that is Taxi Driver my new favorite Robert De Niro film uh, next up we have Point Break starring Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves a pretty interesting heist film uh, which I'd actually never seen before surprisingly but I really do love Keanu Reeves as an actor and uh, obviously Patrick Swayze is a bonus as well in any film Film. And uh, yeah, I mean, this film was very interesting. It had some really unique kind of shots, uh, including these skydiving scenes. And uh, my personal favorite scene was featured in Hot Furs, where uh, Keanu Reeves is chasing uh, Patrick Swayze when he's dressed in one of the ex president masks after doing a bank robbery. And uh, he realizes who it is and he doesn't shoot him. And I just thought that was a really compelling moment in the film. Um, but yeah, that's Point Breaks down Keanu Reeves and uh, Patrick Swayze. Really enjoyable film. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing the atrocity of the reboot that's coming out in December, uh, so I might do a review of that and maybe slam the film to death if it's awful, so uh, that is Point Break. Uh, next up we have a foreign film from Brazil uh, with English subtitles, this is City of God. Uh, quite a well-known foreign film to be honest, but I'd actually never seen this before, and overall I think the message portrayed in this film is amazing. Uh, it takes place in the Brazilian favelas, sort of the slums of Brazil, and uh, it's quite interesting to see the difference in upbringing in comparison to what people are traditionally used to and how uh, these kind of people survive on crime. It's just a very eye-opening film and definitely uh, compelling one at that. So that is City of God, definitely worth watching. 
Uh, next up we have La Hem, which is also a foreign film. This is a French film with English subtitles that is actually black and white. And uh, I enjoyed this film so much, I actually did a proper movie review of this. So if you want to flick back to my previous video, uh, you can check out my review and, uh, of this film and hear my thoughts on what I have to say about it. But um, this film is great. I really love the characters in this film. I think the overall message uh, surrounding police brutality is amazing. And uh, if you are going to pick this film up on DVD, it is relatively cheap. Um, but grab the 10th anniversary edition, which brings me to the next DVD, which is the same film. Uh, I grabbed this for only a pound somewhere, which was uh, a pretty decent deal, but this edition is the standard version, and uh, the subtitles you cannot really read since the film is in black and white anyway, and uh, sometimes the text does blend into the white of the film and you can't really read and what's going on, so it is quite difficult to follow if uh, you buy this version, so definitely get the 10th anniversary version which has updated subtitles, so uh, that is La Hen, a really enjoyable film. Uh, next up we have The Breakfast Club, which is absolutely amazing. I'd never actually checked this out before, but I thought the concept of this was really brilliant, uh, how it all takes place in uh, sort of a detention room in a school, and uh, how it actually stays there, but it stays on point with a topic and goes through quite a lot of emotional, and uh, just overall, I mean, the emotional stages that the characters go through are great. I really did enjoy uh, watching this, and it was basically all about the characters. So, uh, yeah, that is The Breakfast Club. I quite uh, enjoyed the character of John mostly, but uh, yeah, I might do a proper review of this as well. I really did enjoy The Breakfast Club, including the soundtrack, of course, which is quite iconic to the film. Next up, we have Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which is an absolutely hilarious film. I really enjoyed this all the way through, and uh, there are so many sequences in this that I did like more than others. Uh, the only clips that I'd seen of this before actually watching the film were the Black Knight having both of his arms severed off and saying it was just a flesh wound, and uh, I really enjoyed the scene where the French began to throw the cow over the castle and and then the wooden version of the castle wall as well, which was hilarious, and I thought the Knights Who Say Knee was great. Uh, I might actually do my own in-depth review of this film as well, because there are so many things I do want to praise about it. Uh, however, the ending was a little bit disappointing in my opinion. I was expecting a little bit more, but I mean, the comedy is absolutely uh, genius. It really is very obscure, and uh, overall, that that's just the kind of style that the Monty Python films are. So, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail I did quite enjoy, but I do personally prefer Life of Brian. So, uh, that is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, next up we have another comedy film. This is Bad Santa starring Billy Bob Thornton. And uh, this was recommended to me by a friend, uh, the Cryptic Cinema on YouTube, aka Dean. And, uh, I mean, this film itself was uh, absolutely hilarious. I really did enjoy it all the way through. And uh, it was just overall a really great Christmas film to, of course, welcome December with, so uh, that's Bad Santa. I might do a review of this as well. I mean, the comedy in this was great. I thought the dialogue was hilarious, and the ending to this film was actually quite brutal, um, but obviously it all works out fine in the end, but um, yeah, Bad Santa, definitely a great Christmas film, so that's that. Next up we have a short film, this is Toy Story of Terror, which I grabbed in Sainsbury's for two or three pounds, and uh, at first I was actually quite um, perplexed by this film because I didn't really recognize the actual voices of the characters. It didn't sound like Tom Hanks at all, uh, as far as Woody's concerned, and I mean... I had to look it up to see if it was actually the voice actors portraying uh, the characters as it should have been, and it was, thankfully. And uh, as I continued to watch the film, I did actually quite enjoy it. The beginning was a little bit slow and kind of childish, but of course you cannot go wrong with Toy Story, and I think the short films, I've not checked out the second one, but I'm sure that's good as well. Um, but Toy Story of Terror I thought was hilarious, especially towards the end, uh, seeing the hotel manager actually selling some of the toys on eBay for huge amounts of money. It was just really funny, and uh, quite a comical film for the maybe the adult persuasion. So that is Toy Story of Terror, definitely worth picking up if you're a huge Toy Story fan. And uh, coming to the last DVDs, first up we have Bob's Burgers, the complete first season. I might do a separate review of this since I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, I've been a huge fan of Bob's Burgers for ages, but I was waiting for a Region 2 copy of the seasons to come out on DVD. And it doesn't look like there will be, so uh, I bought the Region 1 copy for, I think, £7.50 on Amazon, uh, which wasn't a bad deal at all. So um, the series itself I won't really give too much away since I do want to uh, do a proper review of this. But, I mean, the Belcher family is hilarious. Bob's Burgers is definitely one of my favourite comedies uh, from America at the moment. And overall, the animation in this is great, really crisp looking. And overall, just the characters are great. The dialogue is hilarious. Really great comedy. So that's Bob's Burgers Series 1. If you have not checked out that show, definitely do so. 
And uh, finally for this update, we have the 10th season of The Simpsons, which I was really ag uh, agitated that the um, producers at Fox are no longer going to be releasing DVD releases of The Simpsons, which is really disappointing, but uh, I do have the majority of the seasons, and season 10 was the gap in my collection, so I thought I'd grab it anyway. Uh, I got this in HMV for $7.99, which isn't too bad, and uh, it's in great condition. I bought this brand new and sealed, and the, and, uh, the series itself has so many great episodes that I really do regret not picking the series up sooner. So I might do a proper in-depth review of this one as well, since I've already reviewed all my other seasons of The Simpsons anyway. So thanks for watching my update for November 2015. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more upcoming updates and reviews. Uh, if you would like me to review any of the titles that I've shown and not mentioned about reviewing, which I've pretty much mentioned that I want to review all of them, to be honest, but uh, if there's one thing that you do want me to review, then just leave a comment below and I shall do it in a few weeks or so. And uh, if you're not familiar with my second channel, I recently started a channel all about collecting Funko Pops and Pop Vinyl figurines and Kid Robot figurines and such. And uh, so if you're a fan of these, then just click the link below and you can find my second channel and subscribe for more reviews of these. So leave a like down below, comment below, thanks for watching.